and welcome to the Overwatch Oasis Week 12 Tier 2 game of Papegas vs Valkyries. And today I am joined by Kuro, who is silent casting, and Toaster, who will be commentating alongside. You, you don't have to announce Kuro silent casting, since she's going to be silent. No, the Kuro don't is really know who's awesome. Silent casting. Kuro's awesome, even though she called me dumb. Okay. Alrighty. As we do start the, the game here on Nepal, uh, we do start here on the village stage. Pretty typical place here to see a lot of double shield action. You do see that Ryan Sigma or Arissa Sigma quite a bit. Usually something like a May or a Sim as well. To do CC inside here. It's interesting to see what both teams roll out with. We are going to see a brawl on either side of on the tank line. We'll see a Ryan Zarya on that Papegas with a Reaper May and a Brig Lucio. And for Valkyries we'll see a Ryan Zarya, a Junkrat Genji, and a Mercy Lucio. Yeah, two completely different uh, attack options here by both teams. Papega is going to be relying on getting set up on the point and then enabling your Ryan and such with the Brigida. And then on the side of Valkyries, you're really going to be relying on kind of an early pick by your Junkrat or your McCree. And then, not McCree, Junkrat or Genji, and then uh, have the team build from there. When we are going to see Hydra die early, Papega fall back trying to get onto point. We are going to see Valkyries take point here as they wait for the regroup with Hydra. Sebi dies to the Junkrat. Kashi falling to Mori. Even here. Big shatter by Wolf. Jiba able to pick up Lucio on the shatter. Moira popping Krola since picks coming through for Papegas and they're going to flip the point. Wow. Only allowing Valkyries to get 20% there. Yeah, Valkyries did a good job, got the early pick onto Hydra, but then uh, you have Kakashi just overextended right there, and against a seasoned tank player like Wolf, immediately capitalized on that, chunked down Kakashi, and then saw the free shatter he got to, to win the fight there, just on the back of it and the coalescence. We are going to see Hydra wall off Kakashi here, and Kakashi is going to die as a result, and going to push up to... Get. Elite Arrow is going to get the res off on the Kakashi. See Papegas keep the aggression as Weiss is able to pick up Mori. You do see the rest of Valkyries coming in. Wade getting popped by Young Habibi. Shatter comes out getting three. Young Habibi going to pick up two with the blade. Papegas still on point, not giving any up as Sebi does die to Kakashi, Ket going to die to Puki, and Jibba will fall to Habibi. Yeah, uh, Papeg is a good job right there, baiting out um, Shatter and Tire and Blade, and also the Valk right there. So four alts used right there, and you have a, only a rally on, on the side of Pegas being used, really. So the Valkyries have to win a couple fights here with down quite a bit of alt advantage um, to hopefully keep this point in favor. They are going to see Weiss try to get a pick off the flank, not going to find anything as they retreat back. Grab getting used by Fuki. Blizzard coming out to zone them. Blizzard going to get two, but the Pigas will not be able to convert as they are all dead. We're going to see Hydra reset. Yeah, Hydra may be looking to switch off of that May here um, with the uh, with the use of Blizzard right there. Didn't get any value, so might see them switch off. As it does look like, though, they are going to keep the May here for this next fight to hopefully utilize the walls. We see Kakashi hiding. Wolf finds him out. Double comes through just a little too late. Kakashi dies. Big shatter by a Wolf. Coalescence getting popped. And they are going to clean up the point as Valkyries retreat yeah Another kakashi play. looking for a cute play right there uh again he has to know to realize his competition uh wolf knows spots like that he's not gonna let him get free value off of that so again you take the main tank down 
full fast shatter gets an easy two three man shatter right there to win that fight. They are gonna see Weiss still behind on the bridge. I are going to pick up one. They are gonna see Young Hadoopy with the blade getting three there. They are gonna see the Papegas lose this team fight as it comes to about even. Peg is yeah, going yeah. into this fight only having three alts. As Rally gets popped early, Wolf finding Kakashi. Wolf getting on point by himself. He's gonna try and stay up. Grab comes out. Shatter comes out by Wolf. Are gonna see Kakashi die. Jibbo popping coalescence to heal her team. Wolf picking up another. Elite going to get a res, but he is going to die to it. Kakashi gets rushed into the fight and he will stagger out. You're yeah, gonna see I it. actually think that's a bad res right there. You do stagger your Reinhardt pretty frequently, pretty far from the rest of the team, and he would have probably been someone you wanted there to touch or at least fight with the team right there. We're gonna see them not be able to touch as Pegasus take round one on village. Yeah, um, and I think the big difference right there. Um, is the tank line. I think uh, I think Wolf played very, very well that map. Um, and Hydra did a great job also. Walling off the Kakashi whenever he got, tried to get cute or too aggressive. Um, and then Ket on the Brig also was able to enable Wolf quite a bit on that Reinhardt. So curious to see what the switches will be as you do have Weiss Queen come out on this Fara, but you do have Hydra on that Ash, and Yaya Sebi on the McCree, and Ket on the Baptiste. So you have three direct counters to that Farah that may may smell some trouble for us. You do see the switch, though, to typical double shield by Wolf and Warrior. We are going to see a full change from Papegas, and we are going to see two swaps on the side of Valkyries. We are going to see Hydra Dink. Weiss in the air on that ash, and we are not going to see. And Elite goes for the res as Sebi picks off Young Abibi on the soldier. Mortality getting used by Ket to save his tanks. We are going to see Ket be able to pick off Kakashi. Sebi picking off Obi Truth on the Lucio. We are going to see a big boop there by Weiss onto Ket as they, as Weiss and Elite do get out. Giving the pages the point. Yeah, um, gonna be a really hard fight here for especially for Habib, young Habib to get any uh, value on this soldier into the double shield, especially with the double hit scan raining down. As you do see them try to take a weird rotation, but I think Wolf and Mori both know where they're coming from as they do rotate back off the point. We're gonna see them drop down on the point through the right side. Logo. Matrix getting pops. Hydra picking off two with Cat's Matrix. Weiss getting a double boop. Stealing Living Truth's double boop onto both tanks. But we are going to see the Pegas take the point back. Yeah, and you do have Habib switch back. Switch off to this Genji who he had a lot of value with on Village. But still thinking you might need some more spam damage down here. Try to dislodge this double shield as. You do have the switch onto the hog from Pookie to maybe break some more shield, but it's this is a tough bunker to try to push into against intelligent players. We are gonna see Valkyries take the right side, but this time they are not going to drop down. They're gonna push to the back, trying to pick off Hydra. Hydra going to use Bob, Sebi popping High Noon, cracking shield with Wolf being able to pick off Kakashi. Hydra picking off Pookie on the flank. Valks going into this fight with no tanks, they are all dropping low, and they will be pushed into this room. Yeah, problem here with this rotation they just had is you're self-staggering in this room with no tanks, so although now Kakashi is back from the fight, you're back down, your Lucio, and your Junkrat, your main damage, with this being one fight territory. We are going to see the point tick to 90 here. And the fake and Falcon's touch. I see, oh, big Sigma on there by Wolf getting the Living Truth, looking for a boot, not going to find anything. Fongo's getting used. Sebi able to pick off 
or Lucio, Mori with a good bongo there. The Pegas are going to take the point. 99 to 0. Well, I'd be 100. The Pegas, yeah, Toku. 100. Take the point is 100. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. But yeah, the Pegas do take that 100 to 0. We'll take Nepal. Um, 2 0. You did see a different Pegas right there on that point. I don't know if it was because they felt more comfortable with double shield on this point, but I don't think DPS popped a single ult on the side of Valkyries right there, which just shows kind of the dominance they they uh, put down on the side of Pegas. Um, Ket playing everybody's favorite uh, support right there really did, really was a big reason I think point one went to the side of the Pega, especially the re the retakes and stuff like that. He did make a massive difference brawling up there with uh, Wolf. So if they keep on letting, I think, Wolf run that Reinhardt with Ket on Brigitte, Valkyrie's gonna have to come up with a, a switch here quick. For sure, for sure. At first on Village, it did look very back and forth, but just in the end, Valkyries were, I mean, Valkyries were not able to get any more momentum on to the second round, where Papegas switched up quite a bit and were able to full hold it. I was muted. Yeah, as we now go to map two here on this rotation, which I believe is Eichenwald. Eichenwald. Curse on top of it. Cool. So you switch, you switch to Eichenwald here um, for map two, uh, with Papegas being up one nothing. We are gonna wait for the swaps and readies from both sides. Very dominant performance there by. Pegas, especially on the tank side, Mori and Wolf always being uh, seen in the kill feed, picking off a support or a DPS. Just and then the rest of Pegas able to push into it and picking off the rest. Yeah, so we will see here what rotations, um, as you do have a decent amount of players on the bench for both sides. Um, so we'll see what the, uh, what the rotation here is for both teams, as we do have the switches coming in for, uh, Valkyries, now we're just waiting for Papegas. So yeah, Eichenwald, um, the a map that I somewhat, uh, I mean, it's one, probably one of my favorite uh, escort, well, hybrid maps, I guess, because the the uh, meta in my mind changes at every single point. You do have um, point one, where double shield is heavily favored, point two, you can look at things like a dive. Um, or just something aerial with like a far or an echo, and then point three, it's all about the all combo. So you have you have things like grav tire, grav dragons, blizzard something, gravitic comboed with a bomb or something like that. Just like those big alts that uh, are needed to get through point three. We do are just waiting for uh, the <laughs> switches now. Still waiting on them from Papegas here. Yeah, uh, playoffs coming up here close for tier th tier two. I can want to say tier three. Um, Papegas here wanting a big four out here to keep them in contention to possibly take that one seed. From the team they are playing next week, Rogue Knights, if they get a 4-0 here, they have a chance, depending on the game next week that they are playing in, um, to take over that one seed. Valkyries here trying to fight to keep in the playoff contention as the bottom of Tier 2, two yeah, Tier 2 is still very close. So um, they're wanting a win here to stay relevant in a sense and stay in the playoff hunt, and Papegas are wanting a win here to 
possibly put themselves in first place in the driver's seat here for playoffs. As we do get our switches here for the side of Pepegas. I'm assuming Kuro, you saw that? Yeah, you're switching it. God, you're so good. See, that's why I shouted out Kuro. She's always on top of it. She is doing great. So now we'll just wait for readies on uh, both sides. For both sides. Uh, I don't know, did... I don't think... Uh, yeah, no, no one gave Braddy's yet. We didn't give any. We're still waiting. <laughs> yep, Danny Sidemix, I'm assuming. So we are... We do have the ready on the side of... Valkyries. Now we're just waiting on the readies from the side of Pepegas here. And Wolf we gives the ready, so ready. both teams Sucks. are good to go here. And going in to Eichenwald, we will see Pepegas defending and Valkyries attacking first. Initiating As you do see, yes, no. you will have uh, Valkyrie's attack first and the side of Pepega's defend first, as we do have a new spec in Kuro. I'm assuming you saw that if you want to switch that over real quick. Definitely going to expect some sort of double shield from Pepega's, as they have been running so far, as we did see it on Nepal. Yep, and then we will see the double shield from Pepega's along with a Doomfist. Ash switching off the Dimfist Torb, Hurts on the Baptiste, and Bloods on the Mercy. We'll see a Ryan Zarya from Bleem and Kakashi, Ravioli on the Junkrat, and Danny on the Mercy, Living Truth on the Lucio, and we are going to see Young Habibi pick Hanzo. Wind condition here for Valkyries definitely looking like a Grav Dragon or a Grav Tire. Yeah, they're going to see what they're going to do going with this brawl again against the double shield that Peg is going to run. Uh, how do they go about getting through this first push? We are going to see him escort his team to the left side of the point as they all make it there. The Peg is rotating to meet them there. Boy setting up suicide gunner setting up the turret and wolf pumps. We are gonna see Hydra pick off Young Habibi. We are gonna see Young Habibi get rezzed there by Danny. Mori able to pick off Kakashi. We are gonna see Pepegas up one in this fight. As Bloom charges in, missing his charge, he will drop incredibly low. We're going to pick off Bleem, Hydra able to pick off Danny, Hydra able to pick off both supports, and we'll see Mori pick up the rest. Yeah, so on the side of Valks here, I think he just switches something to attempt to contest Hydra here. Um, Habibi is trying to, but also has to do with that Torb turret. You see Hydra and Suicide both already have DPS alts here, compared to the 67 and 70 on the side of Valkyries. So, could be... Um, a really tough fight for Valkyrie's push into here with both DPS all up. The Suicide does pop the Molten Core to split. Suicide picking up three with that Molten Core. Ugod's rising Hydra. As it will be even that Molten Core still going to work. As they will force a retreat on the side of Valkyries. And it seems to be that hot Suicide Gunner will be able to get back before Bloom is able to regroup with his team. As we do see Suicide on back. Suicide 
big amp and pull there by Maureen Fritz as we will see another recontest forced on the office. Yeah. Yeah, I'm side of Valkyries here, I think you want to switch off this Reinhardt and maybe into something like a D.Va or a Ball maybe to try to contest this high ground. As you do see Kakashi is, still does not have grab here with only about 90 seconds left in this game. We will see Big with their by Wolf Hydra finding two off the pole for Mori. We will see another regroup forced onto Valkyries. As they do come into this fight with five alts compared to the two alts on the side of the Vegas. Yeah, but Hydra Uncontested do... though can build up this Ash Alt here pretty quickly as they do start here with the Molten Core that does get one and baits out heat. Molten Core getting two. Hydra picking off the rat while she is the entire rat. Fire finding nothing. Kakashi able to pick off Hydra, but they will have to regroup. As Hydra does get red, like once. Yeah, and you do see there is a wing condition on the board here for Valkyries. They do have this grab dragon, but if Fritz has his Immort for it, and or Wolf eats this grab, it could be game over. Or if they just get picked pushing in here, as you do see Gleam goes down. Gleam goes down. Bob is used by Hydra, finding one. Danny able to res Gleam. Shadow gets blocked by Wolf. Amazing block there on the side of Wolf. Wolf popping Sigma Alt, able to find the Reinhardt. Reinhardt just going to die up in the hall. It is just Wolf. So there's no supports on the point for the Valkyries as Young Kabibi will try to touch but die. Ravi always staying coming on will die. Great hold there on the side of Papegas. And I think Valkyries just stayed too stagnant. They kept trying to go on that left on that uh, left side of the point and it just wasn't working, but they never switched it up. They just kept trying to go to the left side. And that pull and the halt there by Mori able to pull a couple back from the Ryan shield and allowing his DPS to pick off one or two it was a great job there yeah um no really really strong uh strong hold right there by Pepegas really set kind of the president there after coming out of that second map on Nepal it's interesting to see um Valkyries here can still fight for this draw but it'll be it'll be curious to see how um, how they go about doing it. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. We will see the double shield on the Valkyries. We'll see almost a similar team comp, but instead of the back, we will see a Moira, and instead of the Ash, we will see a McCurry. Almost mirroring the Papegas comp they had, and we will see. Wolf and Mori on the Ryan Zarya, Suicide and Hydra on Hanzo Genji, Chris on the Ana, Ubloods on the Moira. Yeah, you do have Wolf and Sebi here on this Ryan Zarya, which is not as strong in this meta as Double Shield is, but you only have to play for a win condition here and an alt combo is all you need. So you have the chance to play a little more aggressive. We'll see Wolf charge in and die. Hydra able to pick off Queen. The Queen is going to get rezzed by Danny. Hydra able to pick off Ravioli Sting on the board. With no turret up. Essentially that seventh man down for Valkyries. As we do see them wait for Wolf to get back. Then we'll see Papegas rotate around to the left side. As Queen does not have a shield yet. Ooplets beaming down Danny on the Mercy with the Coalescence, Hydra picking up Gleam, Mori able to find the True, Suicide able to pick off the Happy We will see the Nano come out, and we will see the point taken by Pegas, making it 2-0 Pegas. The very fast one push 
team fight win on icon mode to get one tick. Play of the game. Yeah, as you do see, uh, you see Suicide Gunners play here with the Molten Cores using a good job there to zone point. Had a couple big ones um, in these fights, so. After Pegas go up 2 0 here, um, wow, 77% kill participation with that friendly nice. neighborhood Torbjorn. Wow. Big numbers right there, but um, as you are Valkyries here, you need to play for this reverse sweep. You need to come out strong here on Hanamura and uh, try to swing some momentum back in your favor. Uh, you cannot draw this next map. You have to you have to win it um, because I think the win for you is more important than a win for Pepegas right now. Pepegas trying to fight for first but pretty much in playoffs. Valkyries, if they take a big loss here, are in a tough spot here for uh, for playoff. We do see two leave on the side of Valkyries. What, what happened? Um... I don't, I don't know. We will see as we did lose. It may have been their last maps, I don't know. Maybe. I think they will just click on she and Interesting. As we do here, wait, um, see what both teams are gonna roll out with this uh, this time. As we go to Hanamura. Hanamura is everybody's favorite type of map. Good old two CP. Um, better than. Some of the uh, some of the other two CP options, as two CP only has like two maps as of right now. <laughs> but um, with Paris and Horizon both being on gone, rotation. Yeah. yeah. What do you do? Get the swaps here from KF uh, and yep. Uki come in for it's K2. Kashi. How are you skipping the two? <laughs> My K2 coming in. With Pookie for Bleem and Kikashi. There, I fixed it. Third time's the charm. We'll see Weiss and Ravioli on the DPS, and we will see Danny and Fentanyl on the support. Yep, and now we just need to wait here for... Wait. The Papegas. Is Why Pookie not? out here? Oh, no, Pookie's here. Cool. Sweet. Pookie's here. Pookie's in. Kuro has got it covered. Kuro is crushing it. <laughs> we will see swides side swides yes swides sides swapped here so Valkyries will be defending and Pepegas will be attacking this time. Yeah, uh, which. <laughs> yes, Kuro, he said swides. <laughs> um, but yes, uh. Oh my gosh. Attacking here, um, I think you have the, uh, the benefit. Um, you have more of an advantage, uh, because you can set that, uh, kind of tempo early on. Um, if you do run a quick push through. You uh you put the other team on the on their heels whenever they attack, and also if you do get full held, you know what you need to play in order to fight back for the full held, fight back for your own full hold. So um, Pepega is in a good spot here to possibly go up 3-0 in this map in this series, as you do get the swaps from them, which Kuro is putting in now. Um, but Valkyries here definitely it's two CP. You can go to anybody. So. Uh, they need to get this momentum back on this this map, and then hopefully swing it the rest of the way uh, to forcing a map five. 
And we will see Dre and Hydra on DPS. Such a lethal duo for Papegas. Both very, very good snipers. So we'll see which one plays Ash and which one plays Widow on this map. It is weird to me, though, that uh, Dre got put in um, on this map for the double snipe. Po well, you'd have, you'd have to assume you'll see double sniper, so oh, you can yeah, see Hydra definitely. play Ash. I mean, play uh, May and other things, but um, double sniper Dre. here is not as lethal, I don't think, it's on Hanamura as it is other maps. Be curious what this side go with the variant here. I uh, would like to have seen the Dre-Hydra combo possibly on map 4. Or uh, possibly Eichenwald right there, but nonetheless Definitely. can still be lethal here. Dorado having such large sight lines. We'll see yep. how that is. And we are going to get the ready from Valkyries. We are going to get the ready from Papegas as we will go into map 3 of this game. Make score is 2 0 Papegas. So we do, yep, we'll see uh, Pegs on the attack and the defense for Valkyries. Let's be curious to see what they run here. Looks to see we're gonna see a Ryan Zarya on defense for the Valkyries with a Ash Junkrat and a Mercy Lucio. We are gonna see the double shield attack instead of a Sigma A Reinhardt for Copegas with Dre on the Junkrat, Hydra on the Sim, Jibba on the Lucio, and Ket on the Brig. Yeah, as you do see uh, Ket back on that Brig. Um, played very strongly with uh, the Reinhardt of Wolf last time, but you do see now Mori on this Ryan, seeing if he uh, does have the same synergy up there with Mori and Sebi on this tank line. We are going to see Weiss pick off two very fast, shooting their ult charge up to 75%. Going into this fight, Vegas must know that their Junkrat that Weiss is getting very, very close to Tyre. And you see Jimba switch on to the Baptiste. We're gonna see the Grind Zarya as well. As they TP close, we'll see that the Valkyries will back up. And yeah, I'm Vegas no. Are gonna back up. I'm no Jeff Kaplan, but I'm not thinking that is the uh, teleport Hydra was bad. wanting. So, no. um, they're gonna go back and re-push us here. Um, as you do see Hydra switch off onto, uh, the Ash here. As you do go the high Ash speed. and you meet the Junkrat as well. We are gonna see the double shield come out from Sebi and Moore. You see uh, Wise Queen with this looming tire. You have to play a little bit different around it as the tire is popped right there. Tire does get popped, finding Dre. Ant Matrix getting popped by Jibba. Not going to find anything. As Papegas will wait for Dre to get back as Dre closely approaches tire as well. Yeah, as you do see alts coming off on both sides here. Um, Kat's gonna initiate early though with this rally. Rally going to move the pigs in as Valkyrie's back out. Draft getting popped by Poopy. Not finding anything. Jitter with the massive immortality here. Poopy team up. Big shatter there by K2. You know, two, three. But the pig is able to find two through the smoke. Spooky able to pick off Sebi, and it's going to force Hydra and Dre to get back. As you do see, though, both tank alts and uh, both tank alts and Bob being popped right there. 
So you do get some big alts used on the side of Valkyries, but you do need to push it sometime very soon for uh, the Pegasus. Ideally, the Joel Vice Queen built this higher. We are going to see Jibba and Mori die as Joey pops higher, finding two pet able to pick off two. We're going to see Weiss able to pick off two with the tire, but it is going to be a 2v2 as Hydra is able to pick off Weiss. Ravioli on the back of point, not going to touch Hydra, going to pick them off. We are going to see Hydra and Sebi full cap this. Unless Fentanyl is looking to recontest as they turn around to get back on with their team. We are going to see Papegas stay on the same comp as they come up almost on three alts, coming very close to that rally when team fight, and they should have that built. Are going to see Papegas take the middle left flank, dropping low, as they do decide not to take it, switch to main, no shields on the side of the Vegas as Morton's is broken and Sebi's falls low, they are going to retreat in this little left room, waiting for their cooldowns to come back up, as we do see K2 getting aggressive here, K2 backing off. As you do see no alts up yet on the side of Valkyries, you do see three, almost four up on the side of the Pegas. As you do see a Pookie's grab does come online. Big grab there by... Jibba has the immort immortality field though. Did not fake that out beforehand. K2 picking up one. But it will not be enough as the Pegas storm the point. Bob getting sent on to get anything off as Bob does get sent on by Ravioli but the Bob will die on the main. Sigma ult getting used to finding Danny and Kuki. Big Kuki up there by is it Dre or Pet? I think it was Ket sure. Whiplash right there. Big Whiplash there by Ket pushing the Rhine off point. They didn't have any shields there as Sebi was not looking in that direction and Mori not having a shield to place down. And we will see Popega's full cap both points with almost two minutes on the clock to spare. Yeah, a uh, good push there by Popega's, especially um, after point one was taken so slowly. Um, Made it, uh, made it so they did have a fairly small time bank on the side of Pegasus pushing into point two, but Pegasus do take point two in one or two fights and uh, put up a decent time bank. But good hold um, by Valkyries there on that point one. Almost got the full held. A couple different alts go their way. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. We will see the double shield come out for Papegas with Dre on the Junkrat, Hydra on the Ash, Jib on the Mercy, and Cat on the Baptiste. You have K2 and Pookie on the Rhinus Arya, Ravioli on the Sim, Weiss on the Junkrat, Danny's gonna stick to Mercy, and Fentanyl is going to play. Wow. Valkyries looking for the big anti nades to maybe secure a pick onto them as Hydra will find Pookie very early. Rez being forced out. Yeah, so they do force that Rez out early. Hydra with the early pick. Um, Sitting up top here with Jib with the damage boost on him is going to be tough for uh, Valkyries to dislodge, but they do TP onto point here. All six on point. Pegas giving up a tick before they can touch. Mortality getting used to save the snakes. Great job there by Pet. I see no picks come out yet as Pookie does kill Mori. Valkyries picking up two ticks. Pegas touching before the third tick is finalized. We see Jibba with the res on the Mori. K2 dying. Fentanyl dying. 
Hydra picking off twice. Let's see that blow die on point as well. Great progress there made by Valkyries with that quick TP getting it to 80%. But it will not be enough as they do need to cap both points fully. Yeah, good attack there by uh, Valks to get a decent progress on that first point, but also really good re-engage by Pegas. They knew they, they got that tick and uh, knew that they had to get all three for it to matter, so they were able to back up and then recontest at almost 90% after getting that res onto Mori. We will see a very one sided team fight here as Hydra does get the early pick but dies. Hydra again with another pick. Jiva helping out a lot with that damage boost onto Hydra, allowing him to get so many easy picks off instead of with those three shots just able to fire him too. It's time to kill a lot faster. As we do see, Almost all six alts on the side of the Pegas. We are only gonna see four on the side of the Valkyries. So we will see Ravioli die during the, her TP placement. As somebody that good. And we'll see them keep the aggression as Boogie does die. Danny able to revive Boogie. We will see Hydra set back up on the high grounds. Spooky taking the left side plane by themselves. Big Sigma ult there by Sebi, able to catch three in it and able to kill the Ana as the other three do survive. Still five ults on the side of Papegos with two team fights one. As we do see Spooky taking the left high ground as they do get caught out by Mori and Sebi. 60 seconds. They will just yeah. wait up there. Yeah, so Kuki is spotted up there. Uh, it'd be interesting to decide what they decide to do with that. As you see, Sebi gets hooked, but he has the, uh, what do that's called? Black hole or whatever it is. You need the damage right there, but K2 does get the nano here. We do see the buff come out. On one, Hydra picking off three. Hydra picking off four. Weiss able to get two. Dre able to get Weiss. And we'll see the res come out. Onto Sebi as Pookie has advanced further behind them and has not been spotted out. And it looks like Pookie will be touching point here, maybe, as Cat goes to look for the hog. Pookie will be spotted main by Cat missing the hook onto Cat. They will. Pookie popping the whole hog, all the kitty eat, and Cat picking up the kill as K2. And Fentanyl touch point but die on point to Hydra. And we'll see that overtime meter tick down as Papegas take Hanamura taking the series 3 to 0. But we still can see Valkyries fighting for the map differential here to make it 3 to 1. Yeah, um, so Papegas do take that map uh, pretty convincingly again. Um, Pegasus is looking very, very strong today, uh, proving why they're a top tier team in tier 2. Uh, Valkyries though can get a map here, hopefully help their map differential a little bit going into whoever comes to playoff decision time. Um, still a lot to fight for here, but, Val nice but uh, for Pegasus it's still equally as important to get this 4-0 to keep them right on the uh, heels of Rogue Knights. So as we do right here for map 4, uh, Dorado, which will be the last map of this set since we are not going to map 5. As we do go into Dorado here with, we'll have the team swaps sides and such and ready to go here for our last map of the evening Dorado definitely a uh a, a good map you do see a lot of people hold that first uh first point double shield up high Torbjorn is 
a popular play here, but you can see, again, that Ash on the high ground with the double shield uh, Arissa Sig. So I would say this map is going to favor uh, Papegus just because I've been running that double shield Arissa Sig so effectively today. Um, and you probably haven't really seen too much of a double shield out from uh, Valks except for on last, uh, on defense Eichenwald, yeah, whenever they needed to uh, try to full hold right there, so... Definitely, I think you're just seeing two different teams here that have stronger metas that they play into. Valkyrie's definitely favoring, like, a Ryan Zarya type deal. And unfortunately, that's just not in the cards for them today. And you have Pepegas, who really are thriving in that Orissa Sig, or Ryan Orissa, I mean, not Ryan Orissa, Ryan Sig double shield right there. You have seen great, um, play, great Sigma play out of Wolf and Savvy today. For sure, for sure. And I think it favors them even more because Hydra has just been so deadly on that Ash, not being able, not being contested whatsoever by Valkyries. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out. We will get the swaps from Valkyries with K2 and Pookie staying on tank, Young Habibi and Weiss, Weiss Queen on the DPS and Danny and Fentanyl on the support. And on the side of Papegas, we will see Wolf come back in for Sebi. Gunner will come back in for Dre, and Blood and Crits will take support. Yeah, uh, so we we're just waiting here on a couple swaps uh, on the side of um, Valkyries here, looking to see if we can get another player in here that is apparently supposed to be here. It's it's Fentanyl, it's not, what's his name? It's not Living, it's Fentanyl. Danny switched it. Oh, is it back to Fentanyl now? Yeah. And we will see Popegas back on the defending side and Valkyries on attacking. And we will wait for the readies from both sides. We'll get the ready from Valkyries. Is, so Wolf is still in, so you're gonna get readies. Yeah. So yeah, just waiting on the readies for Pepegas here, and we will be good to go with map 4. And they are ready, so we will get going here on map 4 Dorado. Pepegas up 3-0, trying to get the hard 4-0, and Valkyries here trying to fight back for the 3-1. Traveling to Dorado. Oh, bye, Dre. Adios, bud. Fun to have played you. He played his one Pondamora. map. <laughs> yeah, it's good to have you here, more. So we do, we'll see uh, Valkyries roll out here on the attack, and then uh, the defense here. For Pepegas, uh, shockingly, Pepegas is going to run. Uh, Mori's not going to stay on ball. There's literally no shot Mori stays on ball. Yeah, go back. Go back and play with some Mori. There we go. Yep, we're going to have Wolf. We're going to have that double shield uh, of Rissa, Sigma. And then, uh, obviously, we're going to have Suicide on that Torb. Hydra on the Ash, and then Crits and Blood, Mercy, Bat. And then you're gonna have a Rhine Roadhog on the side Interesting. of Interesting. Valks. Yeah, and you have the Junk Genji, and then 
the Mercy Zen. So looking for big pick potential here on the side of Valkyries in comparison to the double shield kind of bunker-esque comp that uh, Pegasus is running. You don't see that turret catch him from BB early as he does get back as Hydra does get that one shot onto Wise, but Wise will come out by Danny. Was Fentanyl on Zen? Or did they just switch? Yes, Zen? Fentanyl started on Zen. That's why they're looking. I think we'll look for Discord hooks or Discord uh, headshots here from the Hanzos. If you switch on the Hanzo instead of the Genji, maybe you'll Discord for it. Hydra and Suicide are able to pick up one. More able to pick up Weiss and keep these charges in. Able to get out with their life. Hydra still on the high ground, not getting contested at all. Fentanyl does switch to the Lucio. Fentanyl will die to Hydra on the high grounds. And Falcons will retreat. Interesting charge there by Pookie with nobody there to support them as they do get back and Danny will kill them up. Weiss going behind but gets spotted out by Hydra and Wolf. Bob sent out by Hydra. Hydra able to pick off the Anthem BB as they will back out and wait for the regroup and for the Bob to leave. We will see if Wolf EPS return for the Bucks. Weiss getting shot out of the air by Hydra with that pocket by Ubloods. Big dynamite there on Hydra. As Young can be the best, try to duel him on top. She does have a pocket. Big whip there by Wolf. Able to get four low. But the Valkyrie will heal them up. There's nothing to see them. This Young Habibi is able to pick off Hydra, but Hydra will get res. Young Habibi able to pick off Google Ups, Bob getting pops and pushed into a corner. As Hydra will die to K2. Lots of ults coming out on either side. Molten 4 by Suicide Gunner. Beat and Future Dragons coming out from uh, Young Habibi and Fentanyl. Young Habibi finding more. Finding Mori in the back. As they will make point progression here with the picks in the favor. Mori getting the vibe, dropping the bongo immediately. Bohan getting pumped by K2, pushing him off. Weiss is going to go for the tire, but not going to find anything. He died during this animation. Wolf. Dying to Young Habibi. We'll see Pookie take out Mori. Wait, he builds with the red is on the Mori. It's, it's just O bloods, by the way. Just blood. There's, there's, there's no, not two O's back to back. It's not O bloods. Oh, wow. I just wanted to wait until map 4 to correct you on that. But it's just, Wow. It's yeah. Been... Um, big hold there at the very end by Pegas. Uh, Wolf is absolutely playing cracked on this Sigma right now. As you do see, though, Young Habibi get the pick onto Hydra. I don't know if that's going to be resible in time. As you see Blood making her way up there, so maybe it's resible? I don't know. Looks like no. But he spawned. It's Mori finding Weiss. Suicide popping Molten Core on the cart. Suicide bounce by Blood right there. Danny going to rest. Spooky, who died in the Molten Core. Shatter getting blocked by Mori. Bob coming on point. Hydra. Suicide David to pick up the Hanzo. Kurt's able to find Spooky with the Pop up the bongo. Big whip there by Wolf. Allowing Hydra to pick up one and go on the Lucio. This Weiss and Danny on points there. Passing and Splice will die and Danny will die just before the point hitting the extra time on say capture point one. It's like point eight meters or something crazy. Great yeah. one there by Papegas. 
Initiating so yeah, that was a really, really good uh, recontest right there at the very last second by Pepegas. Good push there by uh, by Valkyries. It seems like not a lot going their way tonight in terms of alts and picks and whatnot. Um, so tough. Tough break for them tonight, but um, hopefully move on to next week for them looking good as it is going to be very tough for them to full hold this Dorado first point. Um, they're going to have to use, do something they haven't played before. Probably going to have to go with, I think, that double shield to maybe be useful against them as they do drop the double shield. And you do see Wolf go off on um, the Roadhog. Interesting pick as he is mainly, as he does mainly play main tank for them. So it'll be interesting to see how he does on the hog. And we'll see Suicide on the Mei, Hydra on the Genji, Crits on the Moira, Blood on the Mercy. And we'll see the double shield on the side of Valkyries with a Ryan Sigma. And Habibi on the Soldier, Weiss staying on the Junkrat. Danny's going to also stay on the Mercy and Fentanyl on the Lucio. As we do see Weiss get pulled out, and Suicide will able to pick off Weiss very early, making this site very one-fighted, one-sided. We will see Pepegas make a very fast point progression as they come up to pushing under the uh, archway, as they will get stopped. Just a little bit before it. We will see Weiss come back to the fight. Crits popping Coalescence, trying to kill Morin as Morin does unfortunately die. Blood with the res onto Morin. Good hook on to the Reinhardt by Wolf. And Habibi popping Visor. We'll find Crits back. Wolf will be able to pick off Fentanyl. Danny getting res. Suicide able to find their counter. Going uncontested here. Big Lux by A2. Able to find two. I have a Suicide and Blood. Try to escape. Yeah, as you do see now, Wolf switching off to that Sigma, maybe just having a little bit of fun there on Roadhog, but now realizing that they need to get a push here to win this map, so we're going to go back to that textbook, uh, textbook double shield here. And we will see the barrage behind Suicide able to find Vicky as K2 does in Suicide Kill himself. Beat coming out to nullify Hydra's play, but Bongo is going to come out shortly after that with Coalescence. Mori fortifying to stop the Shadow as Crits Crits. does pick up three. Oh my goodness. Four, five. Crits, Crits got five. five. They have families, Chris. Chris. Six K. They have families. Uh, Hydra's going to take the six K. He doesn't get MVP just for that. Looking for six K. You will see Danny here though, about to try and touch point, but it's gonna be a tough recontest here. Wise Queen and Young Habib both well, Hydra with another, another blade. Another. I didn't even see that. As the blade does find one, Sigma all finding another. Catching Weiss in it, getting them dangerously low. Weiss able to pick off Mori and Kurtz in the back of blood, finding the res onto Mori as they do take Dorado, making the score 4 0 on the side of Vegas. How did he get, how did Hydra get the blade so fast? That was insane. And yeah, I don't know, I see that. that. Excellent coalescence here from Crits with the aid of the Bongo. Oh, and the massive pull by Mori. Great pulls by Mori. Crits picking off the fifth. Wow, amazing play there by Crits. Excellent. And Mori. Mori helping out a lot there.
Yeah, so we will go uh, 4-0 here on the side of Pepegas. Um, but now it's that time that everybody cares about. Nobody likes the actual game. It's just all about the MVPs. Ain't that right? Yeah, so... Uh, um, yeah, we will have MVPs for this game. I'm going to do it a little bit differently just because of how this outcome of this game went. Um, so people can uproar and chat or be upset about it later. But um, So I'll start here. I'm going to start with tanks. Um, you had you had good tank play on both sides. Um, but I think tank difference was a big thing this game. Um, I think running the Ryan, the uh, Arissa Sig or Ryan Sig was massive. Um, I think... Wolf, Mori, and Sebi all played absolutely fantastic um, for Tank today. Um, I can't just give it to one, though. I think Wolf and Mori both played Tank very, very well. Um, they were in, I think, I think there were three of the maps where those guys doing. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely showing why Pepegas is now leveled up since Wolf is able to come back and play Tank for them now that SR is legal. Sure. Um, so I'm going... My vote is for co-MVPs for Wolf and Mori right here. I can't just pick one. Um, Sebi yeah, definitely were, played a fantastic yeah. Sigma, but Wolf and Mori, I think, is a duo we're insane. Yeah, Mori, with those amazing pulls and those excellent bongos that we saw on... I know we had a big one just now on Dorado, allowing Critch to pick up four, and a big one on Nepal, allowing Hydra to pick off three. I think yeah, I, mean, I totally agree with that. They were just so dominant the entire time, though. Yeah, and I mean, Valkyries had some good tank play. You did have uh, Pookie played very well on uh, mm -hmm. on tank day, specifically, I believe, Zarya. Uh, Bleem came in and I think played a very, very good Reinhardt. Um, played fairly well against a very strong Reinhardt and Wolf. Um, yeah. But unfortunately, just was not in the cards today for them. Uh, so now we'll, we'll roll to support here, and you're going to have to make the decision between them for me. Um, because I'm torn, and we're not going to give two for support, but um, I'm torn between Kritz and Ket. Uh, Ket Brig was broken. Um, Ket, on point one. Ket. Yes, for he, sure. He for was sure. very good on uh, map one. Um, Kritz also played a very good Baptiste. Um, specifically on, I believe it was Eichenwald, played very, very strong on Baptiste, and then that mm -hmm. last map right there played, obviously, Moira got got the 6k, um, well, 5k uh, Hydra stole the Hydra, last one, Snake, Hydra stole um, it, anyways, so yeah, Hydra. whatever, whatever Hydra, <laughs> anyways, uh, so I'm leaning more towards Crits because of a what have you done for me lately type deal, um, yeah. he, with that 6k there at the end on Moira, I'm pulling towards him, that, that could go either way, sealed the deal yeah. for them especially because the beat came out to stop hydra's blade which is what the bongo i think was down for which is what i would have guessed but not it wasn't able to find anything as the beat did come out but crits just cleaning house with that sealing the deal getting a team kill there allowing them to push all the way in without getting a full recontest off yeah, so we'll go with crits right there for support. Um, again, though, on the side of Valkyries, you'd have Fentanyl and Danny. Both played very well. Danny did very good on Mercy, as per usual. Um, did very strong reses and stuff like that. Uh, again, just unfortunately not in their cards today. Fentanyl played a good Ana and Lucio today. Um, just tough, tough game for them indeed. Pegasus is on another level. And then as we roll to... DPS. DPS. This, this is the one where I'm going to be different. Um, we'll start with Valkyries. Um, obviously, Valkyries, I think, young Habib um, mm -hmm. would be my pick. Um, young Habib or Ravioli. Uh, probably leaning more towards Habib. Um, played yeah. very good on Hanzo. The couple times that Hydra died on Ash was because Habib shot them headshot with Hanzo Arrow. Uh, yeah. Played well, tried to do their best to contest the double sniper. Um, solo basically as a, as a Hanzo as Hanzo. So and also had some pretty good plays as Genji um, on point one of Nepal specifically had a yeah. good couple blades there. So he would be my vote for Valkyries to get MVP on DPS. Mm -hmm. But I think we just can't ignore that how Hydra was so dominant on the Ash 
we at least have to give him some sort of shout out for sure. But as one does have to go to the losing team, so I think it would have to be young Habibi from Valkyries. Yeah, and actually, as you say that, this one would be different. Um, I'm giving two DPS MVPs. I'm giving one to Papegas as well. Hydra literally was insane this whole game. He was. I think he was the... Aside from uh, that, as, interesting as, teleporter on a Hanamura, though. As, <laughs> well, yeah, teleporter, I'm not going to let him live that one down. But, I mean, <laughs> Blood's going to hate it, and he did steal Kritz's 6k. But Hydra literally yeah. was just uncontested. Suicide played well, too. Hydra was just... On another level on the ash uh proving why she's very meta right now and was shutting people down so i'm going dual mvps and on genji yeah first blade kind of bad um but you made up for it with the other blade you <laughs> built in like 17 seconds so kudos yep. to hydra so i'm giving a support i'm giving a dps mvp to both papegas and valkyries i just don't think there's an aspect on the papegas tonight that should not get mvp so i can be for burned sure, at the for stake sure. for this Lord. later that's fine so but dominant. I think they just look too complete tonight, um, especially for a team that everybody was counting out beginning of the season, uh, starting out 0-2. Uh, definitely showed they're on another level tonight and something to be scared of. So, yeah, so MVPs for tonight are going to be Wolf and Mori Tank Duo, um, Crits on the support, and then we're going to have Hydra for DPS and Young Habibi for DPS. So I believe yeah. that is it for tonight guys there's another tier 2 game going on, on the other channel like the rogue knights game if you want to catch that otherwise we will catch you guys later in the week with some more fun and frolic and those are your mvps as wolf and mori on tank hydra and young habibi on dps and crits on support no cat it was cat right no it was crit no crits was support Crits got the six it was, kids, it, right? was crits. it was crits. It was crits. Yep, okay. it was crits. My bad. Okay. Bye, guys. And making sure. the score 4-0 Popegas. All right. Yep. Adios, everybody.